Hello, I'm Spade. In the last video I posted, I talked about how I was just coming back from like a month, month and a half break. And as a result, my muscle memory, my spray, my gun control, and to a certain extent my game sense is just not where it was, you know, when I left off. And the right attitude for that is to be patient, to be able to laugh at my own mistakes, and to play a lot of deathmatch. So I've been playing a lot of deathmatch, and I've played a couple of competitive matches along the way, so I figured I'd throw in some highlights here just to see, uh, just for a quick look at sort of how much that, essentially four or five days of good deathmatch and patience has paid off. And I think you'll see a, a real improvement between the clips that I showed from competitive last, last week and, and actually Monday, and these. Uh, and I think it's really just because I've spent some time in the game, and I've been patient about it. Uh, a couple of good rounds uh, with the Galil, which actually I never really used to use. Um, that was just spray and pray. Um, it worked out, I guess. And probably I should have been able to clutch this, uh, but, you know, a 3K and whatnot, and this guy comes jumping around here pretty quick, so maybe not. The other thing that was fun to do was I've been doing more opping than I was doing before I left, because why not? And especially because if you're opping properly, you're really holding corners like this. You're sitting there, you're waiting, and uh, eventually someone's going to peek you, and all you got to do is click. There's not a whole lot of, you know, other than reaction time, there's not a whole lot of craziness to it. And so I actually did fairly well, I think, uh, on opping. This is a nice flash you can throw here. I saw this on Pasha's stream. It's, uh, I think it just sort of pops in, in mid, and like you saw, that guy was completely blinded. He still hit me, which is impressive. But uh, that's how it works. Same, uh, going the other way, you can flash out and in mid and uh, bounce it, bank it off that building there, and it works pretty well t to peak that boiler angle if somebody's off in there. I missed him crossing, and for some reason he still doesn't know where I am. I think he was so intent on making that fake diffuse uh, that he didn't think I would actually be peaking the angle. Spade out.